Hello, K4. How are you, my dears? I miss you a lot. What are you doing at home, K4? I'm at home. Everybody needs to stay at home. K4, let's make a little circle today. Yes, let's go. Rain, rain, go away. Come and get another day. K4 wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Eating sugar, no, Papa. Telling lies, no, Papa. Open your mouth, ha, ha, ha. Two little black birds sitting on the hill. My name, Jack. My name, Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Jack and Jill. <laughs> ba ba black sheep, have you any you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master, one for the lay. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba 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 Three little monkeys swinging on the tree. This is Mr. Crocodile. You can't get me. You can't get me. Mr. Crocodile comes and meow. Two little monkeys singing on the tree. This is Mr. Crocodile. You can't get me. You can't get me. Mr. Crocodile comes and meow. One little monkey swinging on the tree. This is Mr. Crocodile. You can't get me. You can't get me. Mr. Crocodile comes and meow. Hello, K4. <clears throat> Good morning. How are you doing? How is the weather today? Look at the weather here today. It's rainy and cloudy and cold. See, I'm wearing a jumper because I'm cold. I'm feeling cold. Well, let's start. Today we are going to do three activities together, okay kids? One of them is an art activity and it's this one, look. I don't know if you still remember, but the, the, the artist is Luciano Martins and he did this one, see? Okay, we are going to do this. I send for you in your house, you got in the school, a paper plate like this and if you see you have the shape of the elephant here okay what are you going to do you have to paint okay you can do anything you want you can use paint you can use crayon you can use um, markers you can use coloring pencil or you can use uh, food coloring with water, anything, it's up to you. Or you can call, uh, paste papers from a, from a magazine or from a newspaper or present papers, you know, red papers. Anyway, you can use your imagination, okay? But mine, I will do it with two colors. My Inside here, the elephant, I will paint with red, okay? The elephant from the picture I showed you, I will send this picture for you with uh, 
right through me, okay? But I will paint mine with red, okay? So you just get the paint and do it all around the elephant here, like that, okay? And keep going, painting and painting. Well, after your elephant is completely painted, see, I painted inside, only inside the black line, okay? So this is the elephant. Now we are going to do outside, it's the same. You can do the way you want. You can um, put paper, whatever, okay? I'm going to use the blue one. And I will paint all around again. You can paint colorful. You can use many colors. It's up to you, okay, kids? You can keep going like that. So, I finished mine. Look how I did it. But now, if you see, look, if you pay attention, we have just the elephant without eyes, without anything. So, when it's dried, you can draw the other parts of your elephant and then you can make dots if you want with paint anything you want so you get the glue i forgot something kids you have one thing like this with you there this will be the ear of our elephant look here the ear will be this one okay so you paste this ear on your elephant rainbow one i only have this glue but you can use the glue you have okay so you put some here like this and then you paste the the ear here on your elephant see look and I, I will do at least the eyes, okay? The eye, actually. Look, my elephant. See? And then you can complete your elephant the way you want, okay? So that's it. You can use your imagination the way you prefer. Okay, kids? Another thing that we can do is the trunk. Using this like that look the trunk of my elephant and you can do the nails like that when you finish the nails and the the color of your elephant is dry, in my case the red one is dry, I can paint with white to make the nails, okay? Well, that's it. And then you can do any other thing you want. Okay, kids. But let's continue. Now, we have, I sent on your folder for you, this one too. So you have hearts, trees, triangles, and stars. The activity now is you have to count, and here in the small square, you have to paste one of these circles with the correct number, okay? So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> And then another one is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See, eleven. So <clears throat> you find here eleven, and then you paste here. Ta da! And then we keep going. For example, the triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And then we get here the number eight and we paste with the triangle. And then you keep going, okay? The star. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen is one and five. So you have here, and then you paste your fifteen here, okay? Kids, another thing that you can do to help you count is this. Look, you use a pencil, and then you... you cross the one you've counted like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten see and then you get the number ten and you put here okay and you can do the same with the the other so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, this way it's easier to count and then you don't get lost while you're counting the pictures. So that's it. And then we have our activity done. It's finished. See? Hello, K4. Today we'll do and play with a memory game and this is gonna be so special because we'll use your names and your pictures to be our pieces. So let's check who is here. We have o Kiki Kenzo, o Mati, o Dan, a Bettina, o Rafael, o João, o Daniel, a Rafinha, o Diego, o Valentim, o Davi, a Isabela, o Lucas, a Manuela, o Manuel, o Dudu, a Divi, o Kiki, o Giovanni e o Theo. So we need to paste all the pictures and names in another colorful paper or a cardboard so we can see through this paper. Okay, so that's why we need to paste in another paper, in another colorful paper, so we don't see through the picture. Okay, so let's start pasting. So now we need to cut all the names and pictures. So let's do it. You can get your scissor and let's go. Okay, so now look this K4. On this side, I have all the names and on the other side, I have all the pictures. So now we need to find the matching pair. We need to match the picture to the name. Okay, so let's do it. Let's see who is going to be the first one. Who is this? We have Theo, so we need to find Theo's name. Theo's tag. So let's see. We have Danielle here. So we need to find another one. I will put it back and I will try again. So let me see. Who is this girl? This is Manu. So I need to find Manuela's name. So let me see. Rafaela. So I will put it back and try one more time. Who is this boy? Matias. Can we find Matias' name? Let me see. 
no João. João! No, it's João's picture. Where was it? I can't remember. I don't remember. I think it's this one. And I found it. The matching pair. The picture and also the name. Nice work. So you can keep doing. I hope you have fun. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm back. Now, kids, let's do this one. Look, you have one of these with you because I send you. And with instead of using the pencil to do the line, the dots, we are going to paste the thread. Okay? So you got this paper with this thread, two colors. Okay? So you choose the color you want in each. And you are going to put glue. I only have this, but you can use the smaller one. But it has to be the liquid one, okay? Not the stick one. Then you are going to put here, like this, see? Around as little as possible on the line. Da, 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 da. All around and you have to do that in both drawings okay and then you get one thread and then you put like this around all the glue here see remember let me tell you. Ah, teacher, it's too much glue. My activity will be horrible. Don't worry, kids. Because this glue, when it's dried, it gets transparent, okay? You don't need too much glue. But if you put, you just have to remember that the glue will get transparent when it's dried okay no problem and ta -da! I finished mine see look I finished one and then you do the same you put glue on the other one and you do the same okay with the other part we are going to do the same See? Until the end. Keep going. And da 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 And that's it. Look. You will have the two lines with thread. Okay? Kids, I hope you've enjoyed. You had fun. Okay? And see you soon. I miss you, kids. I wish we could go back to school tomorrow. But this day will come, okay? Don't worry. We'll see us. Uh, we are going to stay together again, okay? Bye-bye. Hey, K4. So, this is what we are going to do now. And we will only need a few things. So, I want to ask you, do you know what is this? This is an aluminum foil and you can get a piece and draw a fish like this. And then you can get a net or something similar to this because we'll paint our fish. We'll put the aluminum foil on top of the net and then we'll paint. So this is gonna be like the fish's scales. I think this is gonna be so nice. So let's do it. So 
So now look this K4. How nice. I hope you have fun. Bye bye. Chapter 1 My favorite color. Orange was Otto the cat's favorite color. Without orange things, the world would be boring. Orange is pretty, it's bold, and it's strong. Now check out this ditty, it's my orange song. I like orange flowers, and I wear orange socks, and I build a tall tower of bright orange blocks. So just give me orange, it's bright and it's pretty. Just give me orange, and I am one happy kitty. Ding dong. Now who could that be? Package for you. Wow. And it's wrapped in orange. I wonder what is it? I wonder who it's from. Great, an orange lamp. And this note says it's from Anne Sally Lee. Dear Otto, I found this old lamp in a strange little store. I thought you would like it because it's orange. Thought you might want to give it a good dusting off. Love, and Sally Lee. Good idea. I will just dust it off. Huh? <sighs> Greetings, Master. I am the genie of the lamp. Your wish is my command. What? You freed me from the lamp. I have to grant you a wish. But each owner gets only one wish, so choose wisely. I get a wish? Now, what orange thing should I wish for? Hmm, aha, I've got it. I wish that everything in the world was orange. Your wish is my command, oh master. Take a look. Oh, this is gonna be great. And there were orange planes and orange cranes, orange bats and orange hats, orange cars and orange stars, orange homes with orange gnomes, orange skirts and orange shirts, orange clowns in orange gowns, orange ducks and orange trucks. Orange bees and orange trees. Orange monkeys, cows and lizards. And in the winter, orange blizzards. Chapter 2. Be careful what you wish for. Everything's orange, everything's great. But now it's time to eat. Oh boy. I could use some lunch. This has been quite an exciting morning. Let's see what we have today. Aha! An orange popsicle. Yummy! Otto, give me that popsicle. What popsicle? You can have it for dessert, but first you have to eat your lunch. Ah, mommy. Here you go. An orange lamb chop. Orange spinach. Orange mashed potatoes and oh, and don't forget to drink your orange milk. Perhaps some things might be better if they were not orange, but orange has to be the best. Let's try the lamb chop. Nope, I was wrong. I'm just not ready for orange lamb chops. I will go take a walk. It will help me forget my hunger. BB, how come there are so many crazy drivers on this street?
crash. Oh, so that's it. All the traffic lights are orange. That's really dangerous. Hmm. Hey, Chester. What's up? Otto, how are you doing? Say, Chess, how do you feel about this new orange world we are living? What do you mean? Haven't you noticed everything is orange now? What are you talking about? Well, everything is orange and it's giving me the blues. Giving you what? The blues. What do you mean? What's the blues? The blues, you know, it makes me sad. Oh, you mean you've got the orange? Eh, I guess so. Don't worry, Otto. Things will all work out. But now I gotta go. My mom is making orange berry pie. So long, Chad. Alert. Be on the lookout for the escaped orange criminal, the orange robber. He or she has orange hair and orange eyes and is wearing orange. The orange bandit could be anywhere or anyone. It's too dangerous out here. I'm going home. Hey, which is my house? They are all orange. Phew, finally, I made it home. I've got to go to my room and find my lamp. Oh no, everything is orange. How will I find the lamp? Can you help Otto find the lamp in this clutter? At least I found it. Now, what will I do? The genie only gave me one wish and I use it. Maybe I will ask Aunt Sally Lee for help. Aunt Sally Lee, this is Otto. Listen, it's about the lamp you sent me. Oh, I see. Don't worry. I have an idea and I'll be right over. Chapter 3. A New Wish Now we'll see if we can fix things. Here, Otto, take this nickel. Sure. I just bought the lamp from you for a nickel. Now on to the rest of the plan. You again. Sorry, kid. Just one wish. It's written right here. Each owner gets only one wish. And that's it. Aha. But Otto just sold me the lamp. You mean, now I gotta give you one wish? All right, you get one wish and that's it. So choose wisely. I want to undo Otto's wish. I wish everything in the world was not orange. Yeah, go and Sally. As you wish. Well... I guess everything is not orange now, is it? No, I am really blue. But we meant, and I did what you said. You need to be more specific. You said you wanted everything not to be orange. Oh, come on, Jeannie, be nice. You know what I meant. All you people do is complain. You are never happy. Humans are so selfish. In all the years on the job, did anyone ever think about me? If someone ever tried to do something for me, I might bend the rules. Hmm. You have been in that lamp a long time. When is the last time you wait? Hmm. 808 years ago? I have an idea. Maybe if you were more specific, people could get you what you want. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Chill out. You too. The problem is as good as solved. 
Ding dong. Pizza! Just what I wanted. But we can have blue pizza. Now, can we? It smells so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. Whoa, this looks great. Reds, yellows, greens, pinks, purples, browns. When everything was all the same, it really turned out pretty lame. Orange is great, and so is blue, and all the other colors too. You said a mouthful, Otto. D and. I'm back here again and we are going to do something very nice today with your parents help of course we are going to name all the fruit and vegetables you have we have in our house okay so but something I have to tell you this week the next week that's coming we are going to have an online class and we are going to talk about this so if you prefer if you don't want to do it by yourself with your parents you can do with me on friday okay so we can do it together and name all the fruits and vegetables together but i will start here now so i got the fruits and vegetables at least one of them one of each to name with you for us to learn them all and to remember to remind the ones we already know okay so let's start with this one what's this what's this banana this is what is this an orange and this cucumber and this one, chayote, chayote, and this, this is a yam, yam, this is easy kids, what, what's this, it's a lemon, lemon, okay, and here in this plastic bag, I'll get it, You know this one, it looks like a tree, but it's broccoli. And the white one is a cauliflower, cauliflower. Well done. We have a potato, a carrot, And then we have this big one here. Do you know what's this? Even in Portuguese. Look, it's a big one, see? This one is, the name of this is chard, chard. Okay, in Portuguese we call this a selga, yeah. But in English, we say chard. And we have this one. You know this one, don't you? Tomato. With this one, this is an onion. Onion. And this, papaya. This big green thing is a pumpkin. We call it in Portuguese cabocha, but it's a pumpkin. It's a kind of pumpkin, okay? This is a mango, mango. 
and this one. We eat that in school. Actually, all of them. This is a cabbage. Cabbage. Those here are quiabo. We say okra. Quiabo is okra. Here we have the green beans, okay? Green beans. And that's it. So we named all the veg. I named all the vegetables and fruits that I had here in my house today. Maybe you have more, the same as me or different ones, no problem. I just want you to do the same, okay? Let's remind we have to remember the name of the fruits and vegetables and the ones we don't know, we can learn together. Okay, kids? Kids, one other thing. So, remember, this activity you can do with your parents in your house or on Friday at 9, we will have two groups, the same way as the circle. So. From 9 to 9.30, we have group A, and from 9.30 to 10, we have group B. And the groups will be the same as you, you received uh, for the circle, okay? So, you can do it with your parents, or you can come to that time that I just tell you, and we do it together, okay? We name the fruits and vegetables together, okay? And then, if you have one of the the fruits or vegetable that you don't know how to name it, we can see together. If I don't know, we can learn together, okay? So, see you soon. Bye-bye.